area over the weekend. Two people sustained minor injuries, but some are not so lucky. Wildlife and Fisheries says Louisiana has one of the highest fatality rates when it comes to boating accidents. Our Keem Ashford went out on the water today and spoke to boating experts about the rules you need to know in a sink or swim situation. Wildlife and Fisheries agents are out in full force, performing boat safety checks for the 4th of July weekend. When we pull up somebody, we don't just pick them out of a crowd and just say, hey, we're going to check that one specific type of boat. We check everyone, and we're going to check for all your safety equipment. Several boating rules have changed over the years. For instance, if you're on a vessel smaller than 26 feet in length, you must wear a life jacket if you're 16 and under. I make sure I have all the uh, safety equipment I need, air horn, the uh, fire extinguisher, all the, all the life jackets. And when the boat's in motion, I make sure that the kids are sitting down with their life jackets on. Another danger on the water is alcohol. Louisiana ranks fifth when it comes to alcohol-related boating accidents, something that boater Kevin Huval is fed up with. I think some people are even drunk before they even are they're drinking before they even get in the uh, boat. And I know they want to have a good time, but sometimes they just, you know, they just they take it a little bit too far. Agent David DeVilliers says he is too. And just because you're on the water doesn't mean you don't have to follow the law. If you get stopped by one of us and you're impaired, whether it's with alcohol, narcotics, or a combination of both, you're going to be going to jail because it's the law. And it's, we looking, we're trying to protect the public while everybody's on the water. In Lafayette, Akeem Ashford, KTC, TV3. According to the National Safety Council, the 4th of July weekend is the deadliest holiday weekend of the year. Last year, there were eight deaths and a little over 11,000 injuries from fireworks mishaps alone. Injuries also include car crashes, swimming incidents, and firework accidents. Here's Daniel's 24-hour forecast. 